if you want to get to Detroit, if you want to one day be a Tiger, you more than likely have to come here, LMCU Ballpark, and go through West Michigan, become a Whitecap. We've seen it so many times before. Kyder Montero, Colt Keith, the all-star Riley Green, I could go on and on. And tonight, for the first time, we are seeing two of the possible next Tiger stars. First, it is the Tigers' number one prospect, the 23, 23 third overall pick, Max Clark, making his Whitecaps debut. Right behind him, it's the 2023 37th overall pick, Kevin McGonagall. Both of those guys called up from the Lakeland Flying Tigers on Sunday. They're set to make their Whitecaps debut tonight in the series opener against the Lansing Lugnuts. And guess what? For an opener, Max Clark, he's going to be leading off tonight for the Whitecaps. McGonagall, he is going to be batting third. So these guys thrown right into the spotlight by manager Tony Capicello. We're going to see right off the bat what these guys are made of. And for Clark and McGonagall, out of spring training, we thought we would see these guys in West Michigan sooner than later. Well, it only took a week after the All-Star break. Now these guys are both here and ready to go. They did what they needed to go, did what they needed to do in low single A. Now they got promotion, a couple steps to go to get to Detroit, to get to Comerica Park, but here we go. The next step for them all begins tonight. We'll have those highlights at 11. And we're just about an hour from game time here, and it is packed at LMCU Ballpark. Of course, to see those two prospects, but it's also a big celebration, the 40th anniversary celebration of the Tigers' 1984 World Series championship. Of course, they took down the San Diego Padres in five games, and you have a couple members here tonight. We have Lance Parrish, the Grand Rapids native, Dave Rosma, Barbara Garve. They are all here tonight. They're signing autographs. The line on the concourse right now, it is long. Fans wanting to see the members of that World Championship team. And we caught up with them just a few minutes ago, and they said getting back together tonight is like a family reunion. They called it Brothers from Another Mother, and this is what they had to say about celebrating that historic championship. How do you want that team to be remembered in baseball history? Well, I, you know, I contended for a long, long time. Yeah, you did. But every time they, they uh, bring up the greatest teams in baseball history, we never seem to get a mention in there. But if you, if you consider the 35 and 5, which nobody did before, and I don't think anybody will ever do again, we were wire to wire champions. We set a franchise record mm -hmm. for uh, wins uh, for the Tigers. And we only lost one game in the postseason. I thought we were a pretty dang good team. So, you know, from that standpoint, I would uh, hope that everybody would give us a little bit of a nod as, as to one of the better teams throughout baseball history. And that's just a sneak peek. Tonight at 11, Yao is going to have the full interview. Those guys really had some good stuff. Once you got them together, they would not stop talking. The stories would not stop flowing. So you're going to want to stay tuned to that. But behind all the festivities, Clark's debut, McGonagall's debut, the three World Series champions in the house, we're going to play a baseball game at some point. 635, it's the Whitecaps and the Lansing Lugnuts. They are just a game and a half out of first place here in West Michigan. So we're going to want to pay attention to the game, guys, tonight, too, because uh, it should be a good one once they get going. That sounds like so much fun. Oh, it's going to be tonight. a great night. And the weather looks good, too, so let's knock on wood. Hope yes.